guys. Um, Bondi Chen here back at you with another PTCGO video. And today we have something different. I present to y'all Turbo Wishy Washy Expanded. Um, the reason why we're playing Expanded because uh, standard we don't have access to battle compressors. So, without any more of putting around, let's get into the deck list. We play three copies of Wishy Washy GX. The card that everyone laughed at. The card that everyone discounted. But I'm telling you guys, Wishy Washy, don't give a F about what you think about it. Let's go over this card. It has 210 HP, a basic water Pokemon. It has a retreat cost of 3 and a lightning weakness, which in Expanded kind of sucks because of Night March. But, we have ways around that. First attack, Water Gun for a single Water Energy does 20 damage. We don't care about that attack. Here's what we do care about. We care about Torrental Vortex for 3 Water Energy and a Double Colorless. You do 120 damage and you discard a Special Energy from your opponent's active Pokemon. Now, this attack is really cool because of um, Dex Lucky Veltal Maxis will play DCE, Night March plays DCE, Decidueye plays DCE, Tur some variations of Turbo Dark will play DCE. Uh, Dark, Dark Dragons, um, Greninja even will play Special Energy. Um, so there's still a lot of Special Energy running around in the Expanded format, so Trent to Vortex is actually not that bad of attack. And then we have Blue Surge GX for 220 damage, which makes you move all energy from from, this, from the Wishy Washy that used Blue Surge GX to your bench in any way you like. So we do have ways to, to, to force this to our advantage, so we do play three copies of Wishy Washy GX. I thought about playing four, but Realistically, um, if they knock out three, you, you lose anyway. Plus, we do have another backup attacker in case we can't get Wishy Washy set or too many Wishy Washy are prized. We do have a backup attacker in the form of Keldeo EX. Everyone's favorite card and expanded to run these days is Keldeo EX because of the Russian ability. The cheese of Russian flows to switch between Pokemon and prevent Lysander stalls on your turn. Um, so, the Russian attack, you guys don't know, it lets you um, basically. Make Keldeo your active with no cost, so you could just go, okay, I rush in, Keldeo now becomes your active, and whatever was active is now on your bench. Uh, when you attach a flow stone to it, though, it lets you retreat in and out of cards, lets you get out of special conditions, and avoid things like Lysander or Stall. Um, its Sacred Sword attack for 3 energy does 50 damage, plus 20 more for each water energy attached to it. So if you have 3 water energy attached to it, it will doing, be doing 110, which is enough to knock out a Shaman, which is a pretty good number to hit. Um, to go along with that, though, we do play one copy of Tapu Lele just for the Wonder Tag ability. Uh, you could play Jirachi instead of Tapu Lele, but I feel like Tapu Lele is better just because it has a higher HP and an attack that you can actually use, unlike Jirachi's attack, which you can't use unless you're playing Steel Energy or Rainbow Energy. So Tapu Lele, I feel like, overall is a better option. Also, its retreat cost of 1 is not bad, bad either. Um, and then we play two copies of Shaman for the draw support. Moving on to the, so, the trainers, Aqua Patch. Or as it's called, someone copied someone's homework in Pokemon TCG headquarters. Um, Aqua Patch. Um, if you guys don't know what this card does, you attach a water energy from your discard pile to one of your bench to water Pokemon. This lets us do some really cheesy things with Battle Compressor to um, attach water energy to a bench Wishy Washy and then use Rush in from Keldeo to retreat into that Wishy Washy. Next up, we play two copies of Battle Compressor, get our one of supporters and our water energy into our discard pile. That way, we can use things like Aqua Patch and VS Seeker. Um, the A spec we are playing is Computer Search, just because Computer Search, um, as far as A specs goes, it's kind of the, if you don't have a better option, you just play Computer Search. Um, some decks will play things like Rock Guard or Dowsing Machine or Life Do. Um, none of those cards I felt like were, were better than Computer Search, plus Computer Search also just offers the amazing versatility of being able to grab any card out of your deck. Um, and also we don't mind discarding cards from our hands, so the discard 2 is not actually even bad for us, so Computer Search I felt like was a good fit. Also, low-key, it's only a spec I have on online. We do play one copy of Dive Ball. We only play one copy of Dive Ball just because we do like to discard energy from our hand. But get, grabbing a free Pokemon is never a bad idea. You're primarily going to be using this, like, well, since we only play Keldeo and Wishy Washy, to grab one of those. I find myself using it to grab a Keldeo more often than not, so play one copy of Dive Ball there. One copy of Field Blower just because it is so awesome. It deals with things like Fighting Tree Belt really well. Um, any passive tool card or passive stadium, it will get rid of very, very quickly. Um, things that are popular that, um, and expanded that are passive are things like Fighting Fury Belt. Um, if our opponent somehow gets a head ringer on us, we can discard it. 
um, or a jamming net or some other kind of, you know, those Team Flare equipment cards. We can get rid of our shelves. Um, we can get rid of float stones, spirit links. So there's a lot of things to hit with Field Blower that are really key to hit. Four copies of Max Elixir. It would not be a turbo deck without Max Elixirs. So we're playing four copies of that. Then, next up, we have one copy of Rescue Stretcher just to grab a Wishy Washy or a Keldeo or a Shaman or a Top Lele to reuse our Pokemon. Um, we never want to put energy back in the discard and back from our discard pot into our deck. So Rescue Stretcher is better than Super Rod. Uh, we only play two copies of Trainer's Mail for consistency. I would like three, but I feel like this deck doesn't really need three because it has so much draw potential with with Shaman and Top Lele plus draw supporters. And we, I didn't feel like a third Trainer's any more than two anything more than two Trainer's Mills was necessary. Kind of the same logic. We're only playing three Ultra Balls. I had to make space for energy, so I cut Ultra Ball because we have one Dive Ball already. We have Top Lele. We have Shaman. Uh, we have Battle Compressor, so thinning our deck is not going to be very difficult. We waft and draw into the stuff that we want more often than not. So I felt like cutting one one Ultra Ball for more energy was more efficient. Um, four copies of VS Seeker, just because it's VS Seeker and it's absolutely broken. Uh, we played two copies of Rough Seas. Uh, we, I chose to play two over three because we have Field Blower, so we can get rid of our opponent's stadium. We don't necessarily win, need to win the stadium more. Uh, we can just get, burn our opponent out of stadiums with uh, playing our stadium over them. Or playing from Field Blower to get rid of bump their stadium. So I feel like only two copies of Rough Seas was really necessary. Um, I felt like Rough Seas, though, was better over th things like Brooklyn Hill. Because um, I felt like the utility of the healing was a lot better than search ability with Brooklyn Hill. Plus, we do want to discard cards, like I said earlier, so the Ultra Ball fits better than Brooklyn Hill. So Rough Seas is the next stadium default, though. Um, we don't want to play Parallel because we don't want to lower bench size. We could bench, we could, Parallel is, though, does have some appeal to limit our own bench. But if we play it the other way, it hurts ourselves way too much, so I feel like playing Rough Seas was just better overall. Um, and, you, and you can't play Silent Lab in this deck because we only play Basics. Uh, one copy AZ, uh, just to pick up a, a Shaman that gets stuck in the active, or a Keldeo, or a Tapu Lele, something that's stuck in our active, we can pick it up. Um, if your Wishy Washy is about to go down, you can just pick it up too. And you may, but then again, you are going to discard those energies. But you do have Aqua Patches, so be careful when you play AZ, guys. Don't play it carelessly. Uh, we play one copy of Fisherman. Um, now this is kind of a leftover card I had in here from an earlier build of this deck that I was playing. It was more like an Archie's Water Box build. Um, Fisherman's okay, but um, actually, I would probably drop this Fisherman for something else. Um, what I'd, I want to drop, I would want to drop Fisherman for another supporter. Um, I have actually found that it's not as helpful as you would think. Um, you know what? I feel like dropping a Fisherman for a Getsis is probably better overall. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's drop Fisherman for a Getsis. And of course, TCGO makes me back all the way out. So let's get back into this. So we dropped, do we just drop that Fisherman for a Getsis? Um, the Fisherman was left over from some kind of was a, from a left over from an Archie's Blastoise water box build I was trying to make work, but I was like it wasn't working the way I wanted it to. So Getsis I think is going to be better than that Fisherman. Um, Getsis lets us make us, makes our opponent reveal our his hand to, their hand to us, and for every item card we find there we draw a card and they have to shuffle all those item cards back into their deck. If you turn one Getsis somebody, a lot of times they will just scoop because you'll hit things like their Ultra Balls, their Trainers Mails, you know all their Search cards. So gets this is awesome. Plus, since we play top of Lele, it's, we can hit that first turn gets this a lot. It's really powerful, especially when you go first. Uh, two copies of Lysander, because Lysander is awesome. Uh, you could drop this down to one, but I like two personally. It's just something I'm, I've grown used to having. One copy of N, since we do play Battle Compressor, we can put ourselves down to one N. Uh, one Kukui, just to hit, help us hit bigger numbers. Uh, four copies of Professor Sycamore for, for draw support. Three copies of Choice Band now. Um, you could play things like Fighting Fury Belt, but I feel like Fighting Fury Belt now has become a lot worse because it's a passive tool card, and passive tool cards are kind of bad now with the existence of Field Blower. Um, as far as an expanded goes, a little bit expanded I've played since Guardians Rising come out, and a lot of the, the Guardians Rising cards have not yet to trickle down into expanded yet. I'm not sure if that's because people who play expand more expanded than standard are, are less um, willing to change their ways, or maybe they're just not as good. I have not played enough Expanded since Guardians Rising came out to make that call. But we do play three copies of Choice Band to help us hit bigger numbers. Uh, two copies of Floatstone for each of our Keldeos. 
Um, we have to kind of be careful with Field Blower though, so um, uh, Float Stone is kind of a double-edged sword, but it's really nice when we do get to go off. We will never play a Float Stone carelessly, we will always hold it for when we need it. And then since Turbo Dark plays 12 Dark Energy, we're going to play 12 Water Energy. Alright guys, so <laughs> that's enough of the deck. Let's go ahead and make sure I save this. Uh, let's go over here to Versus. Uh, unfortunately, I can't play events yet with, with the Guardians Rising cards. The first day that you can do that is actually the weekend of Seattle, so I will actually not even be at a computer, so um, I won't be able to play in the, in the events. I like playing events more than um, on the ladder because the ladder is still kind of filled with uh, you know the you know the homebrew decks, people who are just grinding away trying to get cards. Um, even though I'm almost at the end of the second tier of the ladder. I still get a lot of random stuff. Um, this hand overall is not horrible, but it's not great. Um, I don't feel comfortable discarding this rescue stretcher just because I don't know what our opponent's playing yet. I want to know if it's something we can outpace. It looks like we're playing Zoark and Bronzong. Um, question is which Zor Zoark is he playing? We're gonna go ahead and drop this Keldeo. Um. Uh, we're gonna go ahead here and Ultra Ball actually. Discard the Sycamore and the Water Energy. Let's see what we have available to us. We have another Keldia, both our Shans. Our Tapu Lele is prized. So we're definitely gonna grab that Shaman. So Tapu Lele. One Aqua Patch. One Max Elixir, because the other one's in our hand, right? Yep. So one Max Elixir. Um one Rough Seas. And two energy, okay. Um, so let's go ahead here, and I don't want to um, max elixir quite yet. I don't think. Um, although it is possible for us to get knocked on the Zora right now if we hit this. Nope, we don't hit it. So let's just go ahead and drop this energy on the wishy washy. We missed the max elixir, which really does suck because if we hit it onto the the Keldeo, we had the opportunity of drawing into another one. So, but we don't end up doing that. Uh, we could Ultra Ball for another Shaman here. Uh, we could Sycamore. Um, huh. I don't feel comfortable discarding both our supporters. Because we know that our Tapu Lele is prized. Um, but we do want to Shaman here. I think the Choice Band is going to become less, is, is not going to be nearly as relevant. As the rest of the cards we could be playing. So let's go ahead and discard it. I have a feeling he's not playing EXs or GXs. If he does, he's playing something like Shaman, which we can hit pretty easily. Um, let's go ahead here and uh, use our Shaman here. The reason we did not play our Stadium that last turn was because, like I said earlier, playing um, Stadiums kind of needlessly is, is pretty uh, not really the greatest move in the world. Uh, we are going to have to attach the energy, though, to our Keldeo because we do not have a Wishy Washy in hand. Um, let's just go ahead and hear Kakui to do some extra damage. Um, and pass. So we're going to hit this for 40. Uh, next turn we can't take knockout if he does not evolve. Um, I'm not really sure what this attack does. Okay, so it's not the Ascension Zor Zora. Uh, Zoark. He's going to Team Flare grant us, but that's a supporter for the turn, so he can't draw more cards. Um... God, can you stop playing cards for like two seconds? Like, please? Oh. Uh, okay, so this is the Mind Jack Zorak. Oh, that's kind of a problem. Huh. I don't want to end, so let's go ahead and play down this Rough Seas just to get, heal off some of this damage. Um. I don't want to end him, but I think we have to. I don't really want a computer search for, en for our energy. Uh, we have to hit a Max Elixir eventually. Um, how many energies do we have in our discard pile? We have two energies in our discard pile. How many Max Elixirs we, we use two? We know one's prized, so we could discard some of these. We, let's go ahead and drop our one ofs into our discard pile. Let's drop the AZ and the Getsis because we know they're useless. Let's drop this Choice Band. Uh, the Getsis is less, the AZ is less useful, so let's go ahead and drop that in there too. I don't think the Choice Bands are going to come into play this turn. Um, 
if we get, we could, we're gonna go ahead here and do kind of a cheeky, um, AZ play here. Um, so let's go ahead and discard against this and a Lysander, make the Lysander live. And drop in one more energy in. We're gonna do a cheeky AZ play here and try to hit a Max Elixir or an Aqua Patch right off the top of this. Oh, but we can't because we played end, that's right. Oh well, we had the end for next turn. Our wishy-washy is not in danger of going down. A uh, Lysander play here to get our Kelio out would not be horrible for our opponent's part. Uh, he's playing Scizor, it looks like. Kind of wish I kept those choice bands. Um, but overall, our numbers are not hard to hit. Um, he can't discard energy from us because of we don't play any special. He's playing Shauna, so this tells me it's a le less than optimized list. Muscle band over choice band, really? Um, so he's going to be hitting us for 30, 60, 90, 100, 120. Uh, not quite enough. Uh, we're going to go ahead and heal off the damage. Um, we don't need to play the float stone, but let's go ahead and hear an AZ, or so AZ the Shaman. Try to hit Aqua Patch or a Water Energy at the top. We should hit one of them. Oh, we hit a lot of them. So let's go ahead and we're going to hold the other two because we don't really need to use them. Let's go ahead here and rush in. And he just concedes. I guess that was, he was fully committing to that Zoark play. Um, so let's go ahead and get a couple more games in, guys. Um, like I said, this deck uh, has its moments. When I was playtesting this deck, I actually went off a lot to the point to where I was down to 20, 20 to 25 cards by the end of turn one with a fully charged up Wishy Washy and fully charged up Wishy Washy plus half a Wishy Washy charged up on turn one. Um, when you when the cards just align perfectly, this deck is amazing. Um, but it doesn't usually have a hard time with things. Sometimes you will get behind, but you will more than likely be able to make a comeback out just because Wishy Washy is so bulky. Um, I would try to find room for maybe for a Pokemon Center League in this deck just because I feel like that would be a good inclusion. This is probably like the worst possible hand ever if we get a Sycamore, we are playing it. I'm just saying that now. If we draw into a Sycamore, we are playing that st that thing down. Uh, Fighting Fury Belt. So like I said guys, I don't feel like a lot of the cards from Guardians Rising have moved down into Expanded yet. I don't know if that's because people aren't willing to change up their decks. Or people just aren't willing to test things out, but I don't think Fighting Fury Bot's worth playing just because a Field Blower does exist. I'd rather get that immediate um, immediate effect. Um, so we're going to go ahead and drop down our, our second Wishy Washy. Let's go ahead and bring our Keldeo because we do need the Keldeo. Um, I did not look to see if our Top of is priced. Top is not prized. We have all our Pokemon available to us. We are down to... We have two Aqua Patches are prized. One Max Elixir. One VS Seeker. One Sycamore. And one Energy. Okay, that's not a horrible prizes to have. Um, we are going to go ahead and grab a Shaman though. Uh, what is Landers' weakness? Is it water or grass? It is water, okay. Well, let's go ahead here and drop down this Keldeo. Um, I feel like playing the Choice Band now is okay because we are going to get to attack, hopefully. Um, Max Elixir is nice, we'll take that. Um, we have a pretty good chance of hitting it because we have no energy. We only have, we have uh, 10 energy in our deck left, so we will hit this, or we statistically should. And then we can shame it for a full six. Um, we just need to hit a water energy in our hand. There we go. There it is. We get down this water energy here. Um, we've been hitting for 50. Let's go ahead and Kakui here. Just get some extra damage in. Because uh, I don't really want to discard any of the cards in our hand. Let's take more. And water gun. 140. What kind of math is that? 20. Oh, so, yeah, that's before weakness. That's right. Okay. He's putting a full stone down onto his Regirock, and then he is going to end us again. Uh, 
Um, this end was actually pretty in our favor, actually. Um, so let's just put manually attach energy to our wish active wishy washy, and then actually straight on to our bench wishy washy. Um, this Landorus is gonna go down though. He has to know that. Oof. Uh, Lucario. Not really worried about that. Um, let's just go ahead and elixir here. There we go. Attach this energy here. We have used two elixirs now. Um, we can go ahead here and battle compressor. Uh, we have one elixir left. That's right. Okay, let's go ahead and drop the AZ that gets us in the end right now. Cut some of those supporters out of our deck. Um, mostly because they don't want to draw into them. Um, do we have a Sycamore in our discard pile? Yes, we do. Okay, so we do not need to discard a Sycamore. Oh, uh, let's go ahead and drop two energies and a... Um... Um, let's just go ahead and just drop two energies in, actually. Um, and then Shimmer for four. Oh, we do hit an Aqua Patch, which is nice. Go ahead here, get this Wishy Washy ready to go. Um, and Water Gun. Not taking the knockout there, grabbing two prizes. We find the other, we find the other, both Aqua Patches. Oh my god. We are about to do something really cheeky here. We can get for 150, 170. Is that enough? No, it's not. Lucario has 180 health. But he's gonna end us out of our aqua patches. I swear, has this guy played any other support other than end? No, he has not. Ooh, but we do hit another Max Elixir and a Rough Seas. Fighting Stadium. Let me just refresh my memory of what this card does. Does 20 more damage to EX, so so he does nothing in this case. Uh, we're gonna go ahead here and rough seize off the uh, some of the damage here. We unfortunately cannot knock out this Lucario, I don't think, this turn, but we do hit that. Um, Let's go ahead here and via Seeker for in a Z, because I do not want to, uh, I want to, um, I don't want to draw too much. because uh, we are getting pretty low on cards here. We're keeping pace above our opponent here. We just needed to hit that Aqua Pad, that, that, and that, and that. We kind of just got everything we wanted. Let's go ahead here and rush in. Then <laughs> he just concedes. <laughs> Concede wishy washy. <laughs> oh, I am such a horrible person for making this deck. Oh my god. Let's go again, boys. Let's get him. Oh my god. Okay, so very psychic, uh, colorless. Mega Gardevoir, perhaps. Um, uh, Mega Gardevoir would be kind of interesting because we can't one shot it. Um. If it's like the speed variation, it's kind of um, gonna be kind of harsh with that pace that because they usually play like four shamans. Oh, uh, will we get? Oh, we get a shaman start. Oh, that's horrible. That is horrible. Maybe we can hit like a wishy washy at the top, and then we can AZ the shaman. Let's see what we hit though. Uh, okay, so we both start shaman, which um, is not bad for us. Our opponent also starts a shaman. I mean, what are you gonna do? No Rabu 20. He's gonna play down the Fairy Garden. Uh, the Fairy Garden leads me to believe this is some kind of Mega Gardevoir deck. Ultra Ball. What does he discard? This card's a Lysander and a Fairy Energy. Looks like he is going to grab. A Hoopa EX, so he's gonna go like some kind of ridiculous shenanigans here. This is some kind of mega. This is probably like a brilliant arrow being a Gardevoir. Just because of that fairy garden. Usually, if it was a despair raid, they would definitely be playing Skyfield over this fairy garden. 
So it's Brilliant Arrow, so he's going to be trying to pile energy onto the board. So we need to try to keep pace with his energy. And then correctly choose our targets with Lysander to uh, take away as much energy as possible off the board. Okay, maybe not. Um, I think the... Gardevoir, the Link Blast Gardevoir EX has is overall better versus the Brilliant Arrow or the Life Leap. I think I'm not sure. The other Gardevoir, the one that came in Generations and Primal Clash. I think this is probably. The, I think this is the bigger, better Gardevoir. I think. I don't know. Look that up. Can't remember. Kind of embarrassing since I play a lot of Mega Gardevoir. Puts down the Spirit Link. Oh my god, the Field Blower off the top would be sweet justice! Field Blower! Field Blower! Field Blower! I wish I played two, but... Field Blower! Field Blower! Can we hit it? Can we hit it? Can we hit it? Can we hit it? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Skyla? You're gonna use Skyla as your supporter for the turn. What are you grabbing? Fetch your stick more for next turn, really. You can use the supporter to grab a supporter. Okay. You know what we could do? We could computer search for the field blower. We just say F it. But we probably shouldn't do that. Actually, if we draw a Pokemon, we can do that. Or we draw an Aqua Patch. That makes that slightly better. Trainer's Mail first. Oh, we do get an Ultra Ball. Which is almost, um, Ultra Ball. Discard the, uh, Water Energies. Uh, we have both Keldeals, we have a Shaman, three. Okay, our Pokemon are available to us, we have Aqua Patch. Uh, what are we missing here? Um, we're missing one VS Seeker, is prized. Um, three energy or prize? What are the other two prizes? One Ultra Ball is prized, okay. Looks like one of our one ofs is prized. Um, if we go computer search, we need to, um, have a, uh, Wishy washy on the bench, I think. Let's go ahead here, drop this wishy washy. We are gonna computer search, but I think we're gonna shaman first. Pick up this shaman, refill our hand, and then computer search. Ooh. Ooh. It's rough. We can do this. We can discard a score in a rescue stretcher. Give me that field blower. This is why you don't play down tool cards before you use them. This guy's gonna learn the hard way. Go ahead here and lay lay for, for something for next turn. Um, let's just go ahead here and grab a sycamore. For next turn. Oh, what the hell? Why are you conceding for? I can't play it. I can't play the other supporter. <sighs> Could somebody not concede? <sighs> We're really close to that Giratina, boys. That second Giratina. Can I do it? I probably can do it. I did not get a chance to look at his typing because I was busy looking at my phone. I would like to go first. Uh, we start at Keldia, which is not great. Keldeo, which isn't horrible, but it's not great. 
see what our opponent is playing. He looks like he is playing some kind of Keldeo deck. Um, let's go ahead here and... Uh, I don't want to drop the Choice Band, though. We can bait a Field Blower, though, if he is playing one. Let's just go ahead here and stick more. We need to have more Pokemon on our bench. Uh, we get a Shaman, which is not helpful. He's, he's throwing out the well plates when he doesn't even know what we're playing yet. He thinks just because we discard a bunch of energy, we're in trouble. We're not. We can just do this. Um, I think dropping that choice band, that was probably a bad mistake. Um, I don't really want Shaman for nothing. So we're just gonna have to pass. Crushing Hammer, really? Okay, so I don't... What? what? Really? Um... I don't want a Sycamore. Do I want a Shaman for one? I guess so. Maybe we get an N off the top. Battle Compressor and something. Water Energy is not going to do it. Oh, we have to do this. I don't want to get behind. Aqua Patch. Let's go. Max Elixir. You miss. Um, go ahead here and Battle Compressor. Why not? Um, should we do a top of it? We might be discarding the other battle compressor here, though. Um, I don't even bother with the prizes. I don't even know. We've burned through a lot of our deck already. Um, we don't need to stick more in our discard pile. We only have one DS to so maybe keeping the N and the AZ are probably better. Um, actually, maybe keeping the Getz is better, too. I think we discard the, the Max Elixir, because that's really nothing, does nothing for us. Um... We need to keep the water energies in there. Oh, uh, because we are out of aqua patches. Uh, let's go ahead and drop the Kukui. And let's go ahead here and that's it. Okay. Um Really what we need is a float stone. That's really what we need here. He drops down a rainbow. What energy is that? Go ahead here and do this. Get our another wishy washy charge up on the bench. I think this might be a game we lose because we're probably going to deck out before we knock him out. But we do have the ability to just GX move. If we hit this float stone right here. Really? You are. Trainer's mail. Oh my god. Oh, what, we can AZ it next turn. How do we miss... ...so much? I don't really care, we're gonna AZ it anyway. Not do that. Not do that either. Just go ahead here and blue surge GX him. Uh, we should have played down the Keldeo now I think about it. Let's just go ahead here and put the energy on the Shamans just so we uh, cannot get Lysian installed. Well, we really need to hit a float stone, though. He's probably going to end us, though, knowing with our luck. Wait, what the hell? 
Ah, uh, we got no energy in our hand, boy. What is this? Oh, when you touch energy, okay. Misses both. We wake up. You're kidding me, right? Discard the Battle Compressor and the Rough Seas. There it is. Um, we're not in too big of trouble, but we're not in a good place either. Um, let's go ahead here and rush in. Treat into this one. It's <laughs> ten seats. Okay, guys, um, so that's, what, four games in a row, I think, now, that we just got conceded on? Um, so I think we're going to change this name from Wishy Washy or Turbo Wishy Washy. I think we're just going to change the name to, um, if you guys are from the Hearthstone community, you'll know what, you'll know what concede, concede means. <laughs> concede Wishy Washy, yo. Um, so guys, go check... But if you guys have the cards for this deck, I encourage you to build it. It is a lot of fun. It's really trolly, and turns out in Expanded, it could be really good. I'm not sure if it's top tier or anything at all, but it is a lot of fun. I guarantee that. Um, let me know what you guys think of the, de of the deck down below. The deck list is also down there, too. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Please share it, guys. Comments really help the video get noticed, get seen, get pushed to people's suggested pages. So go ahead and comment. I do read all of them, and I, and I try to respond to all the comments at least this, uh, the same day. I, am, I do log into the app uh, twice a day now. Once when I wake up in the, uh, in the afternoon, and once before I go to bed at night in the morning. So just, I will, I'll, I always will try to, I will always respond to your guys' comments. Um, whether or not this, the Studio Career app on my phone lets me see that or not, it's a whole other story. Um, please guys, like, comment, subscribe. It really does help. Um, probably helps more than, than sharing. Um, but until the next time, guys, peace out. See, he's welcome in handy.